him shit, he back to end. Once he go black, he'll be back again. Tell him hoes that it's crunch time abdomen. It's the cop national and Magivin. She did it again, imagine them. About to make these bitches mad again. Well, ever since I was a little girl, I've always loved to dance. Um, I've been dancing ever since I was four years old. And I think growing up, I've always had really good mentors and um, really uh big people that I've like looked up to and been inspired by and I think um one day I just naturally started creating on my own um when I, I think when I was 10 years old I had to start teaching my church dance group and from there like choreography has been such a big part of my life um I obviously sucked at it when I started doing it at first but I think as I grew up there's just been like I said so many people that have mentored me and people that I've looked up to that have inspired me so greatly so um I think as I grew up, like, I started to get the hang of it a little bit more because I started doing it a lot more often. And it wasn't until I recently moved to L.A. back in 2017 where I started choreographing for my dance group, The Lab. And from there, like, my choreography has, um, I feel like, grown in a lot of ways. But um, I know that I, I can always improve it more. But, yeah, that's how I basically started to choreograph. <laughs> Um, I feel like our our Pacific Islander people um, and our culture is so very unique and very special in so many ways. It's very different, especially from this um, L.A. life, um, this L.A. scene out here in dance. And I feel like um, it's it's always in, it's always given me like a different perspective on um, how to listen to music or use my body um, like with my movement. Uh, and I think that um yeah it's just like it's it's so unique like I was saying so I feel like I've just been like inspired by it um especially like with the different cultures in our Pacific Island um in our Pacific, uh, Pacific Island culture in general so um I think I pull like a lot of inspiration just from the music and from like the different cultures through dance alone well, I didn't start traveling until last year, 2018, back in February. Um, my first international dance camp was in China, and from there on, I just started teaching at a lot of other countries, such as Germany and Italy, Portugal, Spain. Um, I don't even, there's been so much that I can't even remember the rest. Um, and I actually got to choreograph also for Miss Elliot and Sierra for the AMAs show uh, last year as well. That was so fun and so exciting. Um, and a Skechers commercial and a bunch of other places that I, like I said, like I forgot to uh, mention because there's been so much that um, it's just been really crazy. But I, I think for me, like it's just, been such a crazy ride so far and it's only been a year and i'm just so blessed and so thankful for every opportunity that has come my way don't want to say like breaking the stereotype in a way um i love our culture of course and um i love pe watching people who do it as um do that type of dance as well and like i said i feel like i pull a lot of inspiration from it too um for me, though, hip hop has just always been my favorite <laughs> growing up, um, so that's why I stuck with it. But um, I do feel like uh, just maybe a little bit breaking the stereotype because every time I post some videos online, or um, especially the video that got a lot of attention last year, um, back back in 2018, I feel like a lot of people always comment on the "Oh my gosh, I love seeing like Polynesian like." our Polynesian dancer, uh, our Polynesian people in this type of scene. So maybe just a little bit, but I don't want to like say it too much because yeah. Um, it's been really great actually. I love all of the support that they constantly give me. Uh, just, yeah, like I was saying before in that video, like everybody is just always like, wow, like, you know, love to see our Polynesian people just, um, doing their thing and you know especially in this type of scene as well um, but everybody so far has been so supportive and so loving so I'm really grateful and thankful for that um, I think my message would be that I feel like a lot of people don't really expect us Polynesians or our, uh, us Pacific Islanders to be doing anything in like a uh, 
in their type of setting. And I feel like for me, I would just like encourage everybody and tell everybody to not let, like you said, the stereotypes get you, um, not let you pursue whatever you want to do. So I think for me, it would just be to heck, like go for it, whatever you want to do, just go for it. Like who cares what anybody else, you know, has to say about it. If it's your dream and if it's your passion, like, seriously like just go for it and don't let anything or anyone like hold you back or stop you from doing it um especially if it's something that you love to do 